All right, breaking news here at 609. Just into our newsroom, we're hearing of more gunshots fired at the KCK Hotel standoff there at the Hilton Garden Inn. Let's get back to Sarah Plake. She's been there all morning. Sarah, have you heard gunshots? Yeah, I've heard at least four gunshots. Now, um, we're looking straight at the suspect's hotel room there, and we can see in our camera lens that there are bullet holes. It looks like the glass is broken. I'm not sure if the bullets are coming from inside or outside that hotel room. Uh, you're not seeing me on camera just because I'm staying safe from where we're at. All of the news stations are, are have a clear view of this hotel room, um, and, and so we, we just don't want to take any chances. So, of course, we've been following the standoff situation all morning long since about 1230. At least one man is in that hotel room right now with a gun. Earlier this morning, he fired shots through the wind, uh, excuse me, through the door of the hotel room at officers when they came uh, to try and break up a disturbance that was going on inside, and that's what started that standoff here. So, of course. Um, there are a lot of police officers, heavy police presence here, tactical gear, riot gear, trying to negotiate with this man to get him to come out safely. Now, as for the other guests in the Hilton Garden Inn, they are safe. They have been evacuated from the rooms on that side of the hotel, and they are in a safe location inside the building. That's what KCK police officer told us earlier this morning. Uh, now, again, we were hearing gunshots. Uh, first, it was just one loud one. Um, and again, it, it's so much echo around here that we're not sure if it's coming from inside side of the hotel room or outside. We're not sure if police are firing in or the suspect is firing out. Uh, and then we heard uh, several more. I'm not sure the exact number, but it was at least four so far. Um, the light in the, inside the hotel room, it looks like it's off. It doesn't look like anything is going on. Um, but of course, you know, we heard those gunshots, so we know that something is happening. Uh, the suspect does have access to a phone. A police officer told us that they are trying to communicate with him through the phone that way. He also, of course, has a TV inside his hotel room so they don't want to give out too many details of this investigation. Again, going on for hours, um, it started with a party, um, a loud, you know, disturbance that hit the suspect and at least, um, you know, a couple other people were inside this hotel room and management tried to get them to calm down, trying to get them, you know, to quiet down. They wouldn't. So eventually police were called and then that's when they came and tried to knock on the door and then shots were fired. So um, we're going to continue to monitor the situation, watch what happens here. Again, we were hearing gunshots um, just a few minutes ago and, um, of course, safety is the top priority for us and, of course, for the police officers, um, for everybody else inside the Hilton Garden Inn here at 5th of Minnesota, uh, Minnesota in downtown KCK. I'm Sarah Plake. We'll get you more updates and more details coming up. Back to you guys. Sarah, have police been able to tell you anything about why this person doesn't want to come out or is there anything that they want in these negotiations? No, uh, Lindsay, we haven't heard anything else about the negotiations. We talked to police officers um, more than an hour ago, and at that point, um, it was just kind of telling us the information leading up to this standoff. Um, and, of course, this is under investigation. They're trying to get more information, but um, we haven't been able to talk to any police officers since then. So the only information we know is that there you know, is a standoff because of a disturbance. Um, right now, we're looking at uh, the spotlight. Police have been turning it off um, and on. Um, the spotlight has been on that room the whole morning, but for some reason they have turned it off. But we're looking through our camera lens right now. You can see that that is the hotel room in question that the uh, suspect is in. Um, and again, we were zooming in on that window and we were seeing that the glass was broken. It looks like possibly from uh, bullets, from gunfire. But again, I don't know for sure if it was coming from inside the room or outside. And then you can see that the... Uh, Police have since uh, shown their lights again on that hotel room um, where the suspect is um, still inside. And, and that's the last we've heard, that he's still in there. And we don't know if he's the only one in there or the other people are still inside with him. So, of course, we're going to try and, um, you know, figure out some more details. But at this point, police are still very busy, have not been able to provide an update uh, to us yet. All right, so, Sarah, how long ago was Lindsay it Patrick. that you heard the last round of gunshots? Well, since um, about five minutes, um, it, it was about seven minutes ago-ish that we heard the first one, and then it, it wasn't rapid gunfire. It was kind of like one big loud uh, shot, and we weren't really sure what it was. Um, we, you know, we were kind of asking ourselves, what, you know, what was that? Was that a was that a gunshot? And then we heard a couple more, and it was just really loud. And then at that point, we knew, you know, that sounds like that, that's got to be gunfire. So um, again. 
not sure if police are shooting or the suspect is shooting. It's all kind of up in the air. And of course, with these standoff situations, we don't really know much because um, we're standing from afar as we should be. Because as you can see, we're looking straight at the hotel room. We can see that window. And so, uh, you know, if the suspect is in fact firing out of that window, um, you know, that is a very dangerous situation. Um, so anybody who might be walking down here on 5th and Minnesota should should not be. Um, if you're down here in KCK, downtown KCK, you'll see this whole area blocked off. And so you should definitely stay away from this area. Of course, we are stationed across the street at this BP gas station, um, trying to stay safe uh, as possible. Well, Sarah, I'm I know Patrick. earlier we had video of um, someone, you know, we could see in the window their hands. Has it been a long time since you've seen anyone at the window? And did you see earlier police uh, gave them a cell phone to communicate back and forth with this person? Yeah, it's been quite some time since we've seen anybody in the window. That video that we had um, of the suspect or someone standing in that hotel room window, that was from hours ago. And from then, from that point on, I haven't seen anybody uh, standing in the window. Neither has the photographer that I'm with, Jason. He hasn't seen anybody either. So um, I, and, and again, the lights are off. So I, I don't know if the suspect and whoever else might be inside or are just kind of hiding or what they're doing. Um, that is again that's all up in the air uh, the standoff situation it could go either way um, and it could go on for hours but we're not sure um, as far as that cell phone yes um, when we did talk to Kansas City Kansas police officer uh, earlier this morning uh, more than an hour ago he said that they have given him a phone or um, excuse me I want to backtrack I'm not sure if they gave him a phone or if they're if the suspect is using a phone inside the hotel room but bottom line he has a phone that he is able to communicate with and they're trying to do it that way Okay, Sarah, thank you, and yes, stay safe, and we'll be checking back with you for the very latest on this.